millions of people have played Fortnite since it came out about a year and a half ago. 16-year-old Kyle Caldis can't get enough. Sometimes I play the whole day in the weekend, sometimes. Like 24 hours? Yeah. Kenny Pena is a teacher and loves playing the game with his 8-year-old son, Nacho. But it can get out of hand. I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning, I was just telling one of my students, and he was up at 3 o'clock in the morning playing with his friends. So how are video games affecting children's brains? Doctors say when they're playing, a chemical called dopamine is released. That neurotransmitter basically does something like, ooh, that was good, let's do it again. Psychologist Dr. Jeff Gardier says it can have an addictive quality, and one of the biggest warning signs of too much gaming is an out-of-control reaction when you try to limit game time. When you interrupt the kids, they get extremely irritable, and we do know that there have been some cases of violence where kids are breaking into their parents' car to try to get their devices. They're stealing credit cards. Now, that's not the norm. Most kids can somewhat regulate their playing, but other more subtle warning signs to look for is if your child socially withdraws. Their grades go down. You notice a lack of personal hygiene. And if they're preoccupied with thoughts of death, the key is to be aware of when gaming gets out of hand and to limit exposure. Experts say it's best to start limiting screen time when your children are very young so they grow up with better habits when it comes to video games and spending too much time on their devices. On the Upper West Side, Cindy Shue, CBS 2 News.